Number two, sin has long-term consequences. Oh, you may sin right now. The consequences of that sin may last for the next 50 years, the next 100 years. Sin has long-term consequences. In Romans chapter 6, verse 1 to 2, Romans 6, verse 1 to 2, it says, Shall we continue in sin and expect grace to abound? God forbid. Whenever you sin, God withdraws his spirit from you and God withdraws his grace upon your life. And of course, when the grace of God is removed, Satan has an easy and unrestricted access to mess up your life. I pray for somebody today. Whatever may be the consequences of your iniquity, of your sin, that is still working against you or your family, may the mercy of God today wipe it away in the mighty name of Jesus. In 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 26 to 27, this is a story of Gehazi. A man that was destined to be great. Prophet Elisha got double portion of the anointing upon Prophet Elijah. And if everything were to work according to that plan, when it is time for Prophet Elisha to go and be with the Lord, he will transfer the anointing to Gehazi. Now, double the anointing, most likely. So, Gehazi will have been four times as anointed as prophet Elijah. But Gehazi got greedy, like many Christians today. You are busy running after what God has not given you. You are busy lusting after what does not belong to you. You are busy consumed with jealousy over what somebody else possesses. You want to you want to arrive. You want to live big. You are not ready to be patient. What is God saying to you, my brother, my sister? Whenever you sin, the consequences will go beyond you as a person. Not only will you face the consequences, innocent people that didn't know anything about the sin, we suffer for it.